So it's 11 o'clock at night and I was just about to go to bed. And then I found this publication by the APA that I think is going to give me nightmares. Check this out. So the APA is the Engineered Wood Association. They've been around for ages, 90 years or so. And I, they have a ton of fantastic publications. This one that I just ran across, APA Updates Product Advisory. Flexible sheathing products consistently underperform in independent laboratory testing. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about the uh, cellulose fiber sheathing, the thermoply, the dry line, uh, TSX, the barricade. Uh, there's several other uh, brands. It's essentially, the cardboard sheathing that everybody rails against in the comments on my videos. And I've always said, you know, as long as they are installed per manufacturer's instructions, they've been approved. There are engineering reports that say it's equivalent. Um, well, let's see just what equivalency those should have. If you look over in the International Residential Code, you've got the bracing methods. And you've got WSP, which is wood structural panel, says minimum 3 eighths of an inch thick. It also has CSWSP, which is continuously sheathed wood structural panel, three eighths of an inch. So, okay, uh, three eighths of an inch of plywood or OSB is considered to be a minimum standard for sheathing. Well, the thermoply, we're, we're just going to talk about thermoply here, uh, but specifically this sheathing uh, is SPF framing, that's uh, spruce pine fir, for wind is equivalent to WSP. Essentially, this document is stating that it's equivalent to 3 eighths of an inch plywood. Okay, great. Now, this APA notice is a product advisory. Independent laboratory testing states that performance of flexible structural sheathing. Look at this chart. This chart shows comparison of tested shear wall results to the manufacturer's published design values. Essentially, <clears throat> on this chart, the 100% is what the manufacturer is testing at. And the three independent tests from the APA, Clemson University, and University of Oklahoma, they're all testing below what the Dr. J certification is at and not just a little bit we're not talking about 90 percent below or 80 percent below the green thermal apply we're talking 60 percent below 60 averages 66 percent below right so you're looking at this huge huge factor that says you know independent studies saying that that this stuff is actually not just a little bit le less than the minimum standard but but <laughs> considerably more only meeting only an average of 66 percent of that minimum standard uh even the red only 72 percent you know and that's the the thicker stuff um that's thermoply the uh dry line tx tsx uh 84 85 percent still significantly less and that's for wind for seismic you're looking at 58 64%. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It, it, it just boggles my mind. So the summary says, and this was done uh, in 2019. So we're not talking about, you know, when this stuff first came out. We're talking about here recently. And it says some of these products are as thin as 0 0.078 of an inch, but claim shear wall values that are higher than those used for 15 30 seconds inch thick wood structural panels. 15 30 seconds of an inch is almost half an inch. Almost half an inch. These are overstated lateral load design properties published by the flexible sheathing manufacturers raise a question related to the safety and reliability of a structure designed with these products. Wow. Wow. I, this is just blowing my mind. I mean, honestly, it doesn't come as a surprise, but to have it confirmed by the APA, to have it confirmed by uh, Clemson University, University of Oklahoma, and who knows how many other studies 
what did they do differently at Dr. J to get such high values to meet those equivalencies? If these three independent testing agencies found such uh, considerably lower standards. So, man, so I'm looking at this thinking, oh my gosh, all these production homes that I'm inspecting, all these production homes are made with this. Not all of them, not all of them. A lot of them are using OSB with house wrap. A lot of them are using, well, a few of them are using a uh, zip system. All of the custom homes are using uh, zip or OSB. None of them, none of them are using the uh, uh, cellulose, the fiberboard sheathing, uh, dare I say cardboard. Um, but uh, it's, you know, the production homes looking for a cheap alternative that's equivalent. And frankly, it's not.